again my lovely gardening friends how are you today I'm Mark I'm a biotech geek and your gardening freak today we will talk about the poinsettia once again but more especially we will talk about the bracts okay these fantastically beautiful bright color bracts that we see on poinsettia and also on other plants the the plants uh, can make either flowers or bracts. So we know very well about plants that make real flowers. Huh? I mean, there are roses, uh, there are beautiful orchids too. We will be able to talk more about orchids a little later uh, during the season. But there are also plants with bracts, like the poinsettia right here uh, that comes from Mexico. And there's also another Christmas plant that gardening friends like to offer each other at Christmas, and it is called the flamingo lily or the flamingo flower. You see this lovely brightly red part here is a bract so and also it's not even a lily So what we call the flamingo lily or the flamingo flower is neither a lily and neither a flower This thing is a bract and it comes also from Brazil and another plant that shows absolutely wonderful bracts is the bougainvillea the bougainvillea is also called paper flower and uh, it is very abundant in its natural habitat which is Brazil and in Brazilian Portuguese uh, we call it flor de papel in French it is fleur de papier in English paper flower and talking about Brazil I mean this coming February February 2022 the Brazilians have organized the most absolutely insane carnival in Rio de Janeiro and the famous Samba Drome. And this Samba Festival will be called the Carnival of the Century, yes, in Brazil. And uh, it will be insane, but not as insane as Charles Darwin's question about what he called the abominable mystery because you see Charles Darwin who is the author of the origin of species through natural selection huh? he knew a thing or two about living things well he just couldn't even start to understand how it was possible how on earth was it possible for flowering plants to be so abundant and so successful in such a, a short span of time because they appeared only 200 million years ago well 200 million years you see is not uh, a lot of time when you consider uh, the history of life on this planet you see so in only 200 million years Flowering plants have been able to conquer continents and they were everywhere. They are still everywhere. Nine out of ten plants is flower producing. So Charles Darwin was absolutely amazed at how it was possible for plants, flowering plants that is, to conquer continents and diversify into so many varieties and so many species in such a short span of time. And today, we know how it happened. It's simply because of the fact that plants have evolved flowers or attractive bracts like these simply in order to attract insects. So we have in this kind of symbiotic interrelationship two kingdoms that meet together we have the plant kingdom and we have the animal kingdom that meet together in order to allow a fantastic biodiversity that is a win-win situation for both kingdoms and uh, this is the reason why it was so easy for plants and insects to reach such an amazing biodiversity and also we don't need to look very far uh, to find an environment in which we have a wonderful symbiosis and I'm talking about the very ground we walk on the soil itself is a living organism it is a wonderful environment for allowing the merger or the symbiosis of three kingdoms 
First of all, you have the plant kingdom, you have also the fungal kingdom, which are the mushrooms, the beneficial fungi, and also we have the bacterial phylum or kingdom that meet together, all three of them, to allow soil fertility. And this understanding of this tripartite symbiosis between these three kingdoms is the scientific basis of the explanation of soil fertility. It is a win-win-win situation and it happened eons ago, that is, 450 million years ago when plants started to evolve from algae that were left under the sun in the intertidal zone. So that's how plants have been able to slowly conquer continents and with their interaction with insects they have been able to uh, evolve into many many species and also the insects were clear winners in that type of symbiosis. And it brings me to talk about the use of soil conditioners. You see, when you use a soil conditioner such as the bioponics soil conditioner, you create the conditions that allow soil to be like a living organism. Uh, the microorganisms that are found in this soil conditioner are especially selected and designed to increase the beneficial activity of those essential microorganisms that are already present in soil. So if you want to give life to a soil that is placed, for instance, in a container or in a flower box or simply with the soil that's already found in your garden, all you have to do is to use this very concentrated form of microbial probiotic. And it doesn't take much. Only half a cap will be able to um, transform one liter or one quart of water into an amazing soil and make it into a very fertile environment. And the symbiosis between these microorganisms and the roots of the plant is a sure thing. And if you still don't believe me, well, I've got a bridge in Brooklyn to talk to you about because it is true. It is good as gold. It is tried, it is tested, and it is true. It is how we can explain the fertility of soil in the environment. And this kind of technology is yours for a very low price, it's the green thumb for just a few greenbacks. So, until next time, keep taking good care of your lovely indoor plants, whether they are tropical plants or orchids or poinsettia like this or a flamingo lily or a bougainvillea or any type of plant at all. And please do share those videos, okay? Share my videos with your friends and with your relatives. It is important because we have to bring about the message of living soil because the soil is a living organism. And when we know how to use it, we can bring a green thumb to absolutely everyone. And this is how we will be able to defend ideas like food sovereignty, urban agriculture, and food resiliency. So, please do share those videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye now.